Hi there, my name is Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, I posted a, a recent video a couple of days ago about fixing the um, electric window on the driver's door of my Nissan Patrol and we pulled the motor off, we bench tested it and took it apart, cleaned up the commutator, checked the brush um, you know, pressure against the the actual commutator to make sure it was connecting properly. Uh, did some winding checks and then we checked it again on the bench to watch the uh, the current draw as it goes through each of the armatures and they all look pretty good. And then we took the relay off and we cleaned the contacts on the relay, put it all back on the vehicle and everything seems to be working just fine. You know exactly what I'm going to say now don't you? That's right, going to work this morning. Obviously I had the window down, got to work, came to put the window up, click, 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 and I was running a bit late, I was actually about you know two minutes before my lecture was due to start, so like a true Yorkshireman I gave the door a bit of a bash, click, click, still nothing, and then finally when I pushed really hard on the button, it worked, so I was thinking, ah, okay, maybe the contacts in that switch have, you know, have corroded and it's, it's due a new one. So. I came home this afternoon, pulled the door card off, and did a few basic checks. And this is what I found. Here we go. Okay, so I've taken the door card off again, and of course we've got the switch gear, which I've just hung up on the uh, on the door latch. We've got the motor, and we've got that infamous relay. And it's probably going to work now. If I press up, nothing. Down, nothing. But we can hear the relay clicking. So I was playing around with the relay and it was actually starting to work when I actually pushed on the uh, connector. I think, oh, okay, it's just going to be a loose connection between the plug and the relay itself. But actually, it isn't. And I'll show you exactly what the problem is. So anyway, you're going to have to believe me that it did work when I pushed against the case of the actual connector block into this relay. And yes, we've been in this a few times now, so it shouldn't be a problem getting back in again. And no, I'm not going to stab my finger, because it still hurts from last time. Right, that's the end cap off. And there is the relay from yesterday or the other day, whenever it was, and I had a closer look, and if we look very, very carefully, I'm just going to focus on not, but we've got a joint here that's cracked. So what I'll do is I'll plug that back in to the, uh, the plug on the car, we'll leave the cover off, and I'll just bridge that across, and we'll see if the relay then triggers and winds the window up or down. And that will be conclusive proof that that's the fault. Okay, I'm just going to plug that relay back into there with the cover off again. And that dry joint is just down there. Now this is going to be great fun because I need like three arms to do this. But uh, we'll give it a go. So ignition's on. I've got to press that button down and hold the relay at the same time. Right, button is down, and then we're just gonna connect that. Oh, look at that. You can even see the sparks. Right, we need to go back down again now. So, push that down. Oh, all fingers and thumbs. Try it again. Oh yeah. Fantastic. And then of course the arcs. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm very happy that I found that. Now there is also another one here that just looks like it's starting to fracture. So I'm going to resolder that one at the same time. But yeah, you can really see that. I'll do a good close-up, but you can see just how burnt it is. It's been arcing for a while, that looks good, and I'm surprised I didn't spot that yesterday. Okay, so... Not sure how well this thing's going to focus, but I'm hoping that you can see 
that's the, the, the joint that was sparking earlier on. And that's the one that's just got a little crack around it there, look. This, uh, yeah, it's been melting the solder away, so we'll re chuck it in the vise very carefully, and we'll re-solder that one, and we'll just warm that one up until it sort of melt, go back into place again. And then hopefully, finally, my electric windows will be fixed. Now, unfortunately, my little soldering iron has died. So we're on the big soldering iron. It's not ideal. But I reckon it'll work. Probably a bit too much. Perfect. Right, let's just do this one. Cool. Really is as simple as that. Right, let's go and put it back on the truck and see if it works. Right. Pop that on there. There we go. Okay, this is supposed to be the important side, isn't it? That's what we just soldered there. Look, so we're watching that. Uh, ignition on, window up. Oh, yeah. Window down. Mr. Young, <laughs> you're a genius. <laughs> Not really. Okay. So there you go. A very simple fault, but a fault nevertheless that was inside the relay and something which very easy to fix, very quick to fix once you found the problem. Now, I'm not really a circuit board kind of a guy, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's, it's a bit modern, really, isn't it? Circuit boards and stuff, and I, I certainly can't fix computers, there's no doubt about that. But, you know, just by looking at the circuit board, looking at all the joints, the ones that are supposed to be soldered together, it was really obvious where the problem was. And with me fiddling around with that plug on the outside of the relay, of course, it was causing that joint to flex and make contact. Of course it would arc a little bit, but it'd be enough to get the window to work. So it's fixed. And if I hadn't taken the relay apart, it wouldn't be fixed. I'd like to go and buy a new relay and it goes against my religion to buy new stuff. <laughs> okay, well I did this video because um well the last video obviously I didn't fix the fault. And when the window didn't work this morning I felt really bad that I might have given you the impression that I'd fixed the fault on the electric window on the driver's door. Well, in actual fact, in reality, it turned out that I hadn't. I hadn't found the main fault. Sure, it turns out the relay contacts on you know, the two little relays inside that, that, that um, smart relay block, so to speak, were a bit burnt. That wasn't the problem. Yeah, we've sort of cleaned them up and they should last a bit longer. That wasn't the primary fail. And the same with the motor. Sure, the commutator was a little bit grubby. Um, but other than that, it was fine. So we put it back together after checking it. But that, that sort of dry solder joint, we call that, is definitely the fault. It's all fixed. And now, when I weigh the window down, I can sort of rest assured that it's going to go back up again later on because, man, when you can't put your window up, you can't park your car anywhere. Simple as that, isn't it, really? Unless you're at home, of course. Okay, well, that's it. Very short video of Mandy Mechanic today, but uh, something I wanted to do. If you enjoyed this video, uh, there's lots more on the channel that you might also enjoy. Why not subscribe to the channel? Click on subscribe, you'll see a little gear icon. Click on that, and then you can turn on notifications. And our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. And there's usually two, maybe three a week on average, just to keep you occupied. Now, uh, you'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. But, if you wouldn't mind, use the comments section of YouTube for your first point of contact. If you've got a question, stick it in there, and I'll try, whenever I can, to answer. 
they are starting to mount up. I must admit, you know, the more subscribers that I get, the more questions I get, it's getting a bit busy. I can see why Eric the car guy and other, you know, um, South Main Auto, hi chaps, um, I can see why, you know, they really struggle to answer all those questions. Um, what else? That's about it, I suppose. I better head back outside and put my truck back together. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Cheers. Over and out.